first of all uh, thank you for uh, inviting me considering me as a one of the resource person uh, uh from from childhood actually uh, i'm somehow fascinated uh, by the physics or to start with if you are looking at the journey uh, it all started with uh, my father uh, gifting me a binocular so i used to take that binocular uh, go around looking at uh, the moon the craters in the moon the binocular was at least have that resolving power of uh, showing the craters of the moon so in childhood itself i was so fascinated and then um, uh, these lunar eclipses so me coming from a orthodox family looking at eclipse was a sin but uh, i somehow defied that and that's how the journey started somehow at some point of time maybe in uh, bsc or yeah while doing bsc i figured out that if i learn physics properly i can learn anything else so that's how the interest in physics uh, <laughs> yeah i see uh, physics in everything i see physics in uh, economics i see physics in sociology uh, of course i see physics in all other uh, material uh, science aspects so oh, okay that is first of all the envision of the college our ps university uh, luckily i was having uh, vgst funding of 40 lakh rupees i had bought uh, so many instrument and we at uh, ec campus uh, now even in rr campus we have individual faculty room so i i used to keep that instrument uh, in my room and i used to do research so i time came when in where in uh, the instrument number became larger and um, then i went and asked my uh, principal now he is uh, vc uh, that uh, i you know <laughs> i i this is high time that you give me a, a lab space uh, he was kind enough to give me a, a, a good lab space rather no and uh, all the instrument uh, got installed over there and we started with really i mean uh, if we look at our uh, journey as a lab we started uh, from a humble beginning oh first students of mine first uh, engineering students of mine they were not having even the beakers to prepare these quantum rods we used to uh, beg and borrow from chemistry lab and uh, did all sorts of uh, uh you know trial and errors to hit upon the particular size and now yeah i can say that time self sufficient uh, college is uh, has supported me a lot uh, either financially i also have an internal uh, grant from the uh, university apart from uh, that vgst grants yeah uh quantum of course uh, to tell you quantum is everywhere only problem with this quantum till now was that we were not able to see its effect in the sense uh, you know some tangible effects of this quantum uh, now the technology has grown to such a level that uh, the signature because of this quantum transition or whatever the signature that comes out i can able to Uh, i can able to kind of uh, figure it out that this is coming from uh, this signature is coming from here so the instrument uh, instrumentation and the technology has grown to a such a level we call this era as second quantum revolution first quantum revolution is when the discovery of quantum mechanics happened and uh, some uh, explanation of hitherto not known uh physical phenomena like chemistry itself is a, a application of uh, quantum mechanics chemist thinks otherwise uh, anyway so uh, that was called as uh, the first uh, quantum revolution then since the technology outgrowth has happened this we call it as second quantum revolution wherein quantum or uh, quantum effect has uh, entered into every wake of life be it uh, finance be it uh, social science be it uh, our own 
ஐ மீன் மெடிசின் ஆர் ஈவன் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் இட் செல்ஃப் ஸோ குவான்டம் இஃபெக்ட்ஸ் மேக் யூ லுக் அட் த திங்ஸ் இன் அ மச் பெட்டர் அண்ட் மச் என்ஹான்ஸ்ட் அரீனா ஓகே so going forward or moving forward i can only see that these uh, effects are much more uh, kind of um, mm. vivid in all these areas wherein uh, hitherto uh, what i say uh, hitherto you know um, neglected part of or so, um, i would say you know not interested type of uh, arenas wherein uh, uh, we would not have figured out okay quantum or physics has anything to do with this uh, branch stream of uh, study all of all that the quantum has entered to give you an example uh, in biology there is something called as uh, uh, quantum sensing quantum nose wherein uh, now people think that uh, um you know there is a entanglement that is happening and uh, the the animal or the bird uh, which were able which were able to migrate to a very distant place without any uh, kind of uh, google map or whatever they they end up going to a same place every time how they cannot deviate from their path uh, people think that uh, that is because of quantum entanglement so a branch of biology called as quantum biology has come up oh uh, and uh, finance uh, to talk uh, usually uh, we are more fascinated uh, if we can able to crack this uh, 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 sh- uh, stocks uh, stock market or if i can i predict the Uh, ups and downs of the stock market will it be a bear run or will it be a bull run uh, the problem is that the data is so huge and the time uh, that is at your disposal is so small you have to make a decision at a fraction of a second uh, classical computers uh, falling behind uh, there is something called as algorithmic trading uh, of course there are algorithms which would predict and would automatically buy or sell the stocks but if quantum computers are integrated into these algorithmic stocks you can take the decision in a, in a split of a second which uh, helps you in minimizing the loss or maximizing the profit i would say uh, the time of physicists have arrived we have uh, physics was the main main branch or main uh, study past uh, uh, 50 years or 100 years back then somehow engineering uh, took over the um, majority of the um, parents want their kids to be engineers or doctors now uh, i as i said uh, uh, time of physicist have uh, uh, have arrived so and it has arrived with a bang um, and uh, we see that you know as i mentioned in the previous uh, uh, question of yours that uh, every walk or every wake of life is getting affected by a quantum or uh, in a broad sense physics uh, india ha- was quick to realize that uh, quantum uh, or quantum mechanics or quantum computing uh, if we invest in that it uh, would help us in a in a better manner you uh, know <clears throat> so uh, government of india has come up with uh, this national quantum initiative wherein uh, i i think 6000 uh, crore is uh, uh, kept aside and uh, there are there are um, project the proposals that have come up uh, they, are, they have identified nodal points which are the, which are uh, eminent uh, uh, institutes of india and under these nodal points they have identified the contributing uh, institutes so uh, it's uh, it's going to shape the future of india in a uh, much larger and uh, bigger manner okay uh, 
if we are looking from the perspective of quantum alone then be conversant with quantum mechanics okay. and then do a small course in quantum computation or in quantum technology because um, uh, that is going to help in a in a long run second uh, since the semiconductor industry is pitched to uh, take a big leap in um, in india and uh, karnataka itself is uh, very uh, positive uh, i think uh, government has already identified a place somewhere near mysore and a fab will come up equipping uh, students with uh, semiconductor technology uh, uh, what are the processes of uh, fabrication that also can fetch uh, uh, jobs i'll give my own example maybe the situation is different uh, 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 i have done my uh, msc in 1999 so it's about uh, 20 years 25 years now uh, situation may be different but uh, i was also very fascinated by this astrophysics and astronomy uh, when i was at my final year of msc i wanted to uh, take up research work at ayuka yeah and i asked i happened to ask my professor what is the future of uh, astrophysics uh, he actually told like you know uh, what type of astrophysicist you want to become maybe even after 20 years my point of view is also something similar uh, but having said this uh, if uh, a kid wants to get into uh, something related to data analysis of these uh, stars or whatever the data that is generated there is still a scope there is still a scope uh, they can look at uh, isro as their uh, uh, i mean one, one of the platforms and isro definitely is doing a very good job in uh, popularizing uh, the space space technology astrophysics as such first of all uh, half of the blame should be on the uh, teachers who teach physics we teach physics in such a uh, uh, no uh, 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 in such a manner that the students uh, will think twice in making any career in uh, physics but uh, physics is interesting uh the insight has to come from the faculty uh, so first the faculty has to start liking the physics then ultimately the uh, transformation takes place and the students start like so once you start liking any subject then that's the end of it you start digging deeper and uh, you unknowingly know that oh here also there is physics here also there is physics so you feel like physics is everywhere Uh, no. next maybe the the students also has to be a bit open physics is not about uh, 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 no deriving uh, equations physics is not about uh, just solving problems physics is about uh, no uh, enjoyment in the sense uh, you 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 derive something but after closing the book can you recall it is not memorization what my professors used to tell me is that well you study then you let it go if you require it you should be able to re- recreate it with your knowledge so that type of uh, teaching learning has to happen wherein uh, we should not only focus on uh, derivations and in numericals we should go beyond no teach them beyond this this numerical final answer came what is the implication where is it applied and maybe because the era is a computer era computational era uh, students also should be open enough to uh, uh, computational physics or computational science rather that combined with the physical physics teaches you logic a good physicist is a very logical person so 
I usually tell my students, uh, whatever the uh, equations that I teach in class is not going to uh, be immediately helpful to you. Uh, where do you use Newton's uh, equation? Where do you use Einstein's equation? It, even though it is very inscribed in the daily life. Uh, but then, what are you trying to gain by this 52 hours of lecture? It is the logic. How a physicist thinks? Physicist is a very logical fellow. So, if we can able to get that logic out of physics and uh, use this logic in programming or any other uh, arena, then, uh, uh, you know, students will have a larger scope. The, the other arenas will open up. So, that's the challenge. Uh, making physics uh, interesting. So there is a professor by name Walter Levin, I suppose. He's a retired professor uh, from uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. His famous quote is that uh, a teacher who bl bluntly teaches uh, physics uh, is a criminal. <laughs>